Jiwaka Lutheran Day High School is one of six new schools established after Jiwaka became a province of its own, breaking away from Western Highlands province. The high school is two years old and has a population of 430 students, that is four classes of grade 9 and four classes of grade 10. The school's pioneer grade 10s have gone through the first part of their national exams of English, the written expression exams, and will be sitting for other upcoming exams. Terence Tai is heading nine other teachers, most from nearby communities. Mr. Tai, a local himself, says there are many challenges, however he is confident the first grade 10s will set precedence for future grade 10s. Being a teacher, I went to an established school and would sleep in a house, walk up, go to our office. Electricity is there, uh, uh, secretaries or work, ancillary staffs are there. So all we need to do is get lessons ready and go to the classroom. But these uh, 10 guys that we have right now, they are going through a lot of uh, work. They have to sleep in private homes, some without electricity. No, probably no proper water supply, and then they have to run here before it. The school's board has called on relevant authorities, including the education department, to counterfund infrastructure projects in the school. Nilo no sabe bueno lo que se maneja lo gana el provincial government too. I mean, no podemos hablar de money through the classroom. I mean, build them, but not lo lo upside ni lo build them. I mean, lo build them lo credit basis. Na all some lo money we MP lo not wagi he like give him. The school has only two buildings which serve as classrooms for the second lot of grade nines for this year. These were funded by the Jiwaka provincial government. Four classes of grade 10 are using Lutheran Church community development buildings built under the PNG Sustainable Development Program initiative. Meanwhile, the head teacher says since it is a day school, it is experiencing small effects of the dry spell. Because we need to have water, you know. Water is a need, so it does. It also makes uh, the students to come late a bit. During the day, it's too hot, and they need to drink water, it does. And we're having a little bit of effect, but as, uh, as our teachers are always reminding them to bring water so that we could manage it and uh, get this them through get the exemption going so we are Michelle Amba National MTV News